So I'm back in the kitchen again. And that is a very bad sign. Some people should keep 100 meters away from schools and kindergartens. Uh, I should keep 100 meters away from my kitchen. I barely passed domestic science in school. I mean, I almost burned up the school when I was boiling potatoes. I did go to the hardest school in the country though, Bullworth Academy. I mean, you see my shirt here? Jimmy Hopkins is my best friend. And you know that guy, Pete Kowalski, kind of a weird guy, but you know, once you get to know him, he's great. Russell is my personal bodyguard. I was the one who dumped Gary in a toilet, and my girlfriend is the... the I, I, I don't know the name of any girl from the game. <clears throat> eh, who cares? Everyone knows that the best girls are not found at school. They're found at the... The... You know what? Let's play a game. Fill in the blanks. The best girls are found at the blank. Put it in the comments if you want to participate. Shit game. Anyway, we're back with Cooking with the Cook. We're making hamburgers again. This is the proper edition though. Let's go. Uh, a bit small. First of all, again, you know the drill. You get your pan. This one will work. You get your pan, put it on the stove, and you turn it on. You put it on 90, maximum power. In the pan, a little bit of olive oil, just a, just, just a little splash. Just a little splash, a little splash. I'm only joking, we're, st we're still using liquid butter. The good old liquid butter. And since we're not fucking around so much this time, we're not gonna fill the whole pan up with liquid butter. Okay, we're just gonna use a little... Just a little... Splash like that. As we said, this is the proper edition. We're making it the fancy way, the fancy chef, fancy cook. <laughs> Even though we're saying this is the fancy version, we're still using, you know, frozen meat. So you may be disappointed. What the fuck? As you can see here, the liquid butter, the liquid, the, the liquid butter has melted. Well, it was always already melted, but now it's really melted. As you, as you look at that, it's now boiling. I want to stir it around like this, spread it around. I want an even surface to fry this patty on. My patty, I almost said the titty. Man. This is the fancy edition, so we don't say that here. Fucking hell. It's like the sword in the stone. There we go. And then, you know, I learned from the best chefs in the world. Spongebob, he would do like this. Yali. A normal chef would do like this. And actually hit the pan. I'm sorry you have to see that. Well, we're not gonna serve this burger to the customers because, you know... We want the Michelin stars, you know? Anyway, as you can hear, it's really fizzing a lot now. But everyone knows that a good burger is cooked very slow. And with love. But you don't make actual love to the burger, you know, you, you, you make it in a culinary fashion, okay? You don't, you're not supposed to... Pull your pants down. <laughs> anyway, check out this flip though. Yeah, yeah, it didn't actually flip. Another one. There we go, you saw that flip? That's how a professional chef Rino would have done it, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, while that burger is frying now, we need to put the, uh, we need to get a, a plate. We need a plate. Now, you may recognize this plate. We used it in the previous version. But you know, it's still a very fancy plate, isn't that? Oh, it says Ikea. Don't, don't look at that. But everyone knows, everyone in Sweden knows that Ikea is actually the fanciest shit you can get in this world. What the fuck is still... Don't, don't film this, man. Don't film. <laughs> anyway, we're also using hamburger bread today. But as you remember from the, uh, the previous cookout session or whatever, the bread kind of fell apart. And we don't like that. So we take this bread now. And as you can saw, you know, I tore it up very badly. So we're taking a big ass knife. Apparently people like when Swedish people say knife in Swedish. So they, they say kniv. They think that sounds funny. Kniv. So there you go. That's on fan service right there. Anyway, come very close now. We're gonna need to 
this is weird. You're standing there. I'm, I'm right-handed. You know, get over here. We do it with the left hand. Now. This is out of the ordinary, but you know, anything for the viewers. So you take, you take this big ass knife. You slice it like this. There you go. This you can throw out to the birds if you want. But fuck them birds, man. And as you can see, <laughs> that looks like shit. <laughs> so you flatten it out a little so it looks like a normal hamburger bun. We'll get to the bun later. But now, from now we need to check on this burger right here. It's starting to look pretty good now, I would say. And we know the burger is going to be exactly the same as last time. So we're going to get another slice of... So, while the burger and bun is cooking, the bun is not cooking, the burger is frying and the bun has already been prepared, it's time to do the next step, which is some good old cucumber. This is actually a very nice size because it's the size of... No, we're not going there. Anyway, we need to cut up some, 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 some cucumber. So get close now. This is how a professional would have done it. I've seen some Gordon Ramsay tutorials. He said that you should put like a, like a finger like this and let you know, the knife do the work. But you know, the amateur chefs, they are right from the beginning. So you just grab it like that. So you have a very steady hand and you can't really, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we're gonna cut a nice thin slice that even Gordon Ramsay would be proud of. I think that one is looking hella nice, if I may say so myself. So we keep doing that. And we need another one. So we're taking the number two here. Can they get it, bro? <laughs> I am surprised. I amaze myself every time. Anyway, the, the burger is getting done now, so now it's time to fry up the, 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 the buns a little. So we put them in there. We don't want any more butter because we're trying to make something healthy here. No, we don't. So we're putting them down here into the pan. Look at the pan here. Ah, very hot pan. I have blood. That was very smart of me. You've never seen anyone on MasterChef who do that. That's why the show is so boring. Because no one does stupid shit. Anyway, you let your buns cook a little. So you want the buns, you know, we don't want to burn them. We just want, and we don't want to give them just, we don't want them hot. You know, the, the buns can be cold, but we just want them a little toasty. You hear that? We're looking for this sound. Toasty. Toasty! Right now, it is not very toasty, it's just greasy. But that's okay. Let's see. The bun is getting a little of that toasty texture now. So we're definitely on the right path. I'm a little unhappy with how the buns turned out. But you know, we can't have everything in life. And right now I'm just pushing them down. Don't worry guys, I actually wash my hands. I am not that much of a pig. But... Uh, Huh? Fuck. But now, look at this guy, look at this. This one looking very shit, but that's because... Why are you moving away from me? I'm not scared. Get, get, get the fuck off! <laughs> look, 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 look at this bun, right? You see? And you, you hear that? Shut the fuck up now. That's very, that's a toasty texture. So we're gonna put it down there, it's finished. And then we're putting the other top bun here on the side. And now you may say, Paco, why haven't you put the cheese on the burger yet? And that's because we're planning something special today. As I said, we make it fancy. Fancier it doesn't always mean it's better, it just looks fancy, it doesn't taste fancy. When you make it the sloppy way, that's when it tastes good. But when you make it the fancy way, that's where it tastes like shit. So I think this burger now is getting done. So you know what I want to do? I want to go ahead and put it on this here burger you may say taco that looks fucking greasy yeah but you know imagine how it was last time anyway so you take a slice of fake cheese as i said it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna look fancy i didn't say it was gonna taste fancy so you do this we should sue this company though because they have wrapped every single piece of cheese in plastic. 
That's bad. Greta will come for you. I mean, what, what you want to do here is you want to take away a slice or a part of the cheese like this. Yeah, yeah. And what you want to do with this is up to you really. So you want to put the cucumber on like that and like that. I know you may say, Taco, why is there space on the burger right here? Point there. Thank you very much. And then I will, I will explain later. Then you take some good old ketchup. We show brands here because we are not fucking sponsored or anything. So we basically show them what we like. And Heinz is a fancy, fancy brand, I would say. And here we have the top bun. As I said before, this is the fancy proper edition. So get over here, have a look at this bun, my dude. I'm gonna put like that. Like that. He's very happy. And I am say, okay, Taco, where do you put the slice of cheese? On the burger, of course. So you take it like this. And when you're fancy, you know, everything in the kitchen kind of has a, you know, a emotional attachment to you because you're a chef and you love the, the work and the arts and the crafts and every material that you work with, you take care of it. So therefore, I take care of my cucumbers like that. I put them under the blanket like that, like some cute little babies. And then I finish it off by giving them a happy face, which in this case means I'm giving them some loving. Not in the sexual way, in the culinary way. So you put it on like that. And I would definitely say that this one is looking hella better than the last one. So there we go. That was uh, Cooking with the Cook, proper edition. And now it's time for the ultimate test. Another taste test for the taste tester. Det smakar också skit. Va? Så gör du? Nej. What the fuck guys? Om vi firar om att det är den här lite. I mean, I barely passed domestic science in school. I mean, I, I almost burned up. <laughs> Sorry.